Okay, this is going to be a short video on getting um, OpenStep and NextStep to print to a non-PostScript printer. Basically, um, if you have a looking print manager and you try and create a new printer, you don't have much in the way of choice, really. Um, You might find if you've got a HP LaserJet, then you know printing on that is going to be very easy. But if you don't have a um, a printer which is listed here, then you're not going to have much in the way of fun. So as you can see here, uh, basically what I've got is this is a non-PostScript uh, Hewlett Packard printer um, attached to my NetInfo Master, and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so <clears throat> using the joy of uh, Cubex. I have got here a uh, GNOME control center running off my Linux machine and if I go to printing maybe it will do something oh, there we go, okay so as you can see here I've got um, my printer which I added to the network it's a networked printer, uh, prints via wireless and I've added it to uh, the Linux box under cups so Linux can actually play, um, can actually print using this box then what I did is using the joys of uh, Unix I created a network port <coughs> so if I quickly load up this file here I mean this a bit wider so you can actually see it properly as you can see this line here I added in, this is basically faking a Hewlett Packard Jet Direct all it does is um, any data that it receives on this port it passes it off to the printer uh, utility which prints using this printer the C7200 next stage then is once that's done and you've restarted INETD or XINETD or what have you in the printer manager, you basically create, set the type to HP4 LaserJet, <coughs> so you do postcode printing. So let me just set a relevant LaserJet for this one here. Give it the name. Um, And you can set the access types private if you only want to be able to print from this one machine public if you want to print um, well if you want other machines to be able to print for it um, now again you can limit it even though it's a public printer only people on this machine will be able to print from it if I select the root or say for example if Saratoga was a subdomain then I can specify which netinfo domains are able to print from it. So in this case, if I go for root, set serial, uh, sorry, set the communications to HP Jet Direct, enter in the host, uh, the IP address or the host name, enter in a remote name, then press OK, authenticate to NetInfo. Now I can verify this has been added by leaning over and looking at my net info master. And there you are, the printer has been added. Okay, so the reason why you've got two printers listed here now, um, if you don't use the same name for remote and local, is this one here is the uh, local printer, and this one here will be the one which people connect to um, if they're printing over net info. <coughs> um, what basically happens now is when you print um, <coughs> you'll be printing using PostScript which will then re uh, be received via CUPS over the HP Jet Direct port CUPS will automatically um, it will either send, if, if your printer is capable of PostScript it will either forward on the PostScript sent by NextStep or 
using ghost script it will convert the post script into a raster um, into a bitmap or into printer control language or whatever and send that down to the printer so when you print a nice text, uh, test page you will be able to see the lovely next logo and validate the printing all works okay so that was nice and simple um, I've only tested this on Linux I haven't actually tested it on uh, say for example Mac OS 10 and I'm not 100% sure what the deal will be if you use Windows chances are you'll probably need something like Sigwin um, with ghost script and cups that way and unless there's a native cups um, system for windows you just so happen to be able to add um, things listening on port uh, 9100 um, so yeah hopefully now you'll be able to print on OpenStep and next step